time to start scraping. Open Chrome Developer Tools and then click Web Scraper. Click Create New Sitemap and then call this O3-Team. Go ahead and grab the web URL and paste it where it says Start URL. Click Create Sitemap. We're going to add new selector and then call this people link and then change the type to a link. Next, click select and then click Greg's face and then click Hayden's face. Web Scraper should automatically recognize that these are all links and grab the rest of them for you. Click done selecting. Make sure you hit multiple because we want to bring in multiple links. Save selector. After that, make sure you drill into the selector you just made. Why is that? Well, we're going to add a new selector, but this time we're going to drill into Greg. Next, we're going to grab Greg's name. Leave the type as text and then select Greg Alio. Click done selecting. And then you can also preview the data by hitting data preview. Go ahead and X that out and then hit save selector. Next we're going to grab his title. Type title, select, select lead engineer, done selecting, save selector. And then the last selector we're going to add is the bio. Go ahead type bio, scroll down, select, and then select Greg's bio. Hit done selecting, save selector. Simple, right? So what do we do? We just made a sitemap. And then Web Scraper is going to crawl through each person's link and then grab three data points, name, title, and bio. Go ahead to the dropdown, click Scrape. Hit Start Scraping. So Web Scraper is going through the website in the separate Chrome tab and basically refreshing every single time to pull in the data points we want. We can see the data being brought in. Every time we hit refresh data, there's more rows. If we go back in the page, we can also see how many people are there on this page. It looks like there's more than a dozen. Let's check in on the scraper. This should be done in a few more minutes, but after it's done, we can export this data to a CSV. Feel free to fast forward through the rest of this. Once it's done, the pop-up should disappear and you should be able to export data as CSV. If you do that, it will give you a link to download. And voila! We just scraped an entire website. Something that would take us hours and hours took us only a few minutes.